everyone, it's me, SP, and I am back with another tutorial. I apologize for my voice, I am a little bit sick, but I figured I'd make this video because you all are probably home for the holidays and maybe trying to bring up The Sims again. So, um, I don't know if you heard, but there is a new way to download mods now, which is a giant platform where you basically can just like easily click download, 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 and it goes straight into your game instead of having to go to all these individual websites. Um, of course, it kind of makes my job a little bit like no longer useful, but I figured I'd give you a tutorial on how to do this so that you can do this on your own. But um, as you know, this um, platform may not have, you know, some mods that may be deemed inappropriate. So those you would still have to do manually. So anything that you can't find on there is still, you would use the old way to download mods. But this is awesome because it has MC Command Center. It has, um, you know, Sim to Dating app. It has a lot of the mods. And when you have to download them, again, when it's updated, this makes it a lot easier because you can just download and it updates the mods, um, the updated version of the mod on its own. So without further ado, we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to download Curse Forge. And Curse Forge is used for other um, games as well, not just uh, The Sims. So you're first going to want to go to download.curseforge.com. The link is in the description down below, as well as anything else that you might need for this tutorial. Um, so you're just going to click download and it's going to download an app, um, which is the CurseForge app. So that's really awesome. Uh, I think they said that you don't have to sign in in order to download um, these mods, but I guess we'll find out because this is my first time using it as well. Um, so once that downloads, you're going to double click or just click on it and it's going to ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You're going to click yes. So then it's going to start uh, downloading this um, application. So once it's done downloading, here we have the installer. Um, we're going to click next and you select the language that you want. Okay, so here is important. So it's going to ask where you want it installed. Um, I just like to keep it like this. I like to create a desktop version um, and a desktop version for Overwolf as well, which it has to download, I guess, both of those things. In order to for this to work, you have to download CurseForge and Overwolf. So just click next. Um, I love how it says a new home for your mods. So this is how you can keep track of what mods are in your game um, as well when you download them. So awesome. And it, as I said before, there are other games as well that this works for. Um, it works for Minecraft, World of Warcraft, but here we see the little Sims icon. So now it's downloading. It doesn't take up that much space, which is awesome. Um, and yeah. Okay, so now it's saying that the CurseForge and Overwolf have been successfully installed. So you're just going to press launch. So now it's launching the CurseForge application, which is awesome. Everything seems to be working quite nicely so far. Okay, so as you can see, it has just downloaded and you see these beautiful little bells at the top. Cute. Has a little animation. When you open it, it says, welcome. Thank you for joining. I think we should watch it in case it, your control of your privacy. Yes. Let's shape the future together. Let the games begin. So here we see a little Sewell Sewell. Let's check out fellow Simmer the situation. So as you can see, they have like these little icons. You can see The Sims 4 as one of the main um game that you play you might see the other games that you play as well um, if you click get more mods here you can see all of the popular mods or the new uploaded ones you can also see the different categories right so we have create a sim we have mods we have things for pets we have build mode so if I wanted to download the sim to dating app let's say right we're gonna click install right here 
So here it gives a little, uh, like a little description of what the app is, the, sorry, the mod is. So when we click download, right, we just click download. Um, it says recently updated. So I guess it tells you whether the, the mod had been updated or not. Um, and it also says here, uh, the last time that it was, uh, updated as well. So it says that it is downloaded. I can go into my mods now and it basically is showing me all of the mods that I have in my game, which is really awesome too. And you can also click the update all icon as well. So now I think that it's like, honestly, just like in my game. So that's really awesome. You can also log in. Let's see what is in the settings. So um, I'm guessing that it automatically connects to your mods folder um, when you download this. And basically, I think then you can just uh, start up your game and it's going to have all of your awesome new mods that you downloaded. So let's go into the uh, create a mods, right? So they have all different types of eyelashes that you can now download. This crop top, I want to install this crop top. So let's install the crop top. Oh my God, it's so fast and easy. I can't. This is so cool. So I'm just downloading all of these things, right? And so now I guess we just uh, run the game through here, right? So you can open your mods folder. Uh, open your tray folder, repair, and also, so let's click um, open my mods folder. So as you can see, there are the Simto dating app that I just downloaded. There are all of these little um, CCs that I just downloaded. And if you want, you can create a new folder here just to, to like write clothes or uh, put this into its own folder for being a the dating app so you can keep track of the mods but I think it's awesome because when you click update all it's going to automatically delete the old file and then replace it with the new file so after that you're gonna want to press run game right here and it's going to run your game directly from curse forge so I think that's really awesome guys I hope this was helpful if you have any questions please leave comments in the in the comment section below um, but yes um, this is a really awesome way to download mods really easily I hope you guys have an amazing vacation holidays anything that you guys do you know in this next few weeks days and life guys um, take care and peace out bye